Good morning everyone. Welcome back to all computer classes. This presentation is about chapter 2 and we have solved all the back exercises of the chapter. The chapter is file management and data organization. We have uh, already covered the chapter. Let's proceed and solve the exercises, right? Starting with multiple choice questions, the first one is to copy multiple non-adjacent files and folder press and hold down dash key which key we will be pressing shift alt control or function key so if you remember control key is used for randomly selecting the files and for adjacent file we use shift key right next is you can use dash characters to locate the file if you know only a part of a file name you don't know the exact or complete name of the file so what will you use you will use numeric you will use alphabetic trump cards or wild card right so what will you use you will use wild card we know that we have two wild cards that we use to locate the file when we don't know the complete name of the file right next multiple choice question is which file extension is used for music file mp3 .jpg .docx and .mp4 so which file extension is used for uh, audio file or music file if you remember jpg is for image mp4 is for videos docx for word document and dot mp3 is used for music file right name the application that displays the hard disk drives cd drives dvd drive removable devices network locations that are connected to your computer so where do we see it we see from here you can guess the answer like where do you see all the drives when you insert a pen drive or you insert a cd where do you see that so we don't see find it in recycle bin media player is used for watching the videos and new folder is we create it's not an application so we have windows explorer that shows all these things at one place right next we have fill in the blanks the first one is moving a file or a folder means shifting it from its dash to another location so what is the answer the answer is source location means the main location right dash option is used to change the name of a file and folder i i know that you have answered it right it's rename right changing the name means already name is given and you are changing it so it's a rename you can find a file or a folder by typing the keyword in dash at the top of top of every window so what do you find at top of every window when you want to find a file yes right it is search box so you always find a search box on all the windows when you open them right a dash and dash are two wild card characters commonly used in searching the information yes right so we have this star and this question mark these are the two wild card that we use for finding or searching the files right a, a dash is a standard way of encoding information on a computer so it's a file format you always see a file name having the extension at the end with the dot so this is a standard way of encoding the information in a computer right next is state true or false so we have these five statements now you will tell me whether it's true or false to select a consecutive group of files click on control key so consecutive group right so we don't use control key for consecutive group we use shift key for that so it's a false next next is shift plus d del del means delete if we press these two keys together will delete a file and a folder permanently yes this is true right in windows 7 we can display only two windows at a time no this is not true we can 
open and have multiple windows and work with them simultaneously right so it is false the sound file have the file extension .mp3 yes we have just done so star dot docx will search for the Microsoft Word files whose name contain only one character so when we don't know the complete name we haven't given any hint so it will find all the files having file extension docx right so all the file will be displayed when having the docx docx extension so it is false question answers so what is file file is a collection of related information stored together on the same device right like you have a ms word file so the entire file will be having a relevant information what is a folder so folder is like a cabinet like a drawers on your table where you keep the relevant files right for example there is a picture folder so all the pictures are kept there there is a document folder there is a download folder so all those folder contain a particular type of files right what do you mean by file format file format is a standard way of encoding information in a computer right for example you can have a excel file ms word file powerpoint presentation a uh, photoshop document and many other files with same name a for example how this is possible the files are distinguished by the file format because there will be a word file a.docx there will be a powerpoint for file a dot pptx excel file a dot xlsx right so what is making the difference file names are same but the file formats are different which characters are used to locate file and folders in case you know only a part of a file name right so you don't know the exact name or complete name explain the use with the help of example wild cards are the symbols that are used to search a file or a folder whose exact name we don't know so we can use these two wild card character this is star and this is question mark for example star dot x l s x so it will find all the files having the extension this right what is the need of sorting the files how will you sort the file on the desktop in an alphabetic order right so it's a general answer sorting the desktop item means arranging them in a proper order right let's see this is the right click when we right click we get to see sort by option when we get this four option right so when we want to arrange them all in alphabetic order so we will use the name option otherwise we can use size then we can use item type date modified so these are the steps written on the right side and this is how it looks when you do these steps right so right click when we right click we get we get to see this then take your mouse pointer on the sort by and you'll get this option click on the name you are done now application based question now there is a situation for example this neeta is you right so neeta wants to locate a file that she had saved in her computer a few days back right she doesn't remember the exact name but can recall first alphabet of the file right so she just remember one alphabet of the file now let's see what is the answer since neeta does not know the file name and file extension right so she doesn't know what is the file name and what is the file extension she only remembers the first al first alphabet so we will use the wild card for let's say the file name starts with f f star dot star so we don't know the complete file name so it is this star indicates that and this star will indicate the file extension that we don't know any file extension all the file names with alphabet f will be displayed whether they are excel powerpoint ms word any file all the files starting with name f will be displayed now ria wants to listen a music while searching some information over internet now she she wants to listen music and search something on the internet right which option 
she choose to work with both the application simultaneously right so we have this show window side by side so we she will uh, open her uh, music player as well as she will open the browser to work with these two applications together right so students i hope you find it easy and interesting so make the notes learn them practice them and so keep yourself healthy and happy take care goodbye and see you tomorrow with new video bye bye